Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you the safer way to uninstalling any unwanted applications. Now, you may think that uninstalling applications is as easy as taking your application and dropping it right in the trash and ejecting, but that's not the case. There can be files all over, especially if it's an application like Safari. Safari saves multiple things, such as plugins, in external folders. So if I was to go delete my Safari application, which I don't know why I want to do, but if I did, then there would still be all of those Safari plugins floating around my computer. So to uninstall your apps, you should have downloaded App Cleaner. Now, there will be a link to this in the download section and this is completely free it's available for Mac and it allows you to just drag your apps and it will delete them for you so all you have to do is take the app that you want to delete you don't have to drag the entire folder only drag the app and it will put it here now if it finds any files floating around my screen it will immediately tell me about them and list them here. For this file, luckily, there was none. This works with any application. I can go right now to MP Navigator EX and it'll list it there. I could go to Comic Life and if it's protected, it will make this appear. Now, what do I mean by protected? Well, if we go to our preferences, you'll see I have a long list of applications. Now, this list is for the apps that you don't want to delete. If you have this application open, and you try to delete those, either through this window or through the trash, it won't let you. Now, adding applications is as easy as dragging and dropping. For example, let's add a couple of them. Let's add Device Central. Put it right there, which I think I already had. Put Adobe Drive in there. Adobe Encore. I'm just going to put all my Adobe apps because I never want to de accidentally delete my Adobe apps. And I'm just going to add a couple down here. Media Encoder. On Location. Now I just want to warn you, when you have a long list, as you can see from me dragging and dropping, it can get a little bit slow because there's just so many applications in there and it has to verify whether or not it's an app file and there we have it so if I go and try to delete one of those applications that I just added it won't let me it'll have an alert message and I won't be able to do it I recommend putting every single application that you use even once or twice a month in here so this way you're sure that nothing will happen to it for example I use Photoshop very frequently and I would be extremely annoyed with myself if I were to delete this so I'm gonna make sure that it's here now other applications like text edit of course I don't use that as frequently but I do use it every now and then now also under your preferences you have three checkboxes you probably want to enable all three of those. The first one protects when you have an application open. So you can't delete an application that's already open. Protect default apps that come with your computer. So I can't delete address book even if it's not on this list. And then 3D transitions which is just these. Smart delete allows you to when you're dragging and dropping to the trash It'll, it'll recommend for you to use App Cleaner. 
So this way, in case this file is floating around, they'll delete them for you. And then just check for updates. And that's it. Now back on our main window, for easy access, you can even go to applications and delete some. Now some are really cool because things like constrain 350 make JPEG 30 is with Adobe Image Ready. However, that's not an application I can find in my applications file, so it's good that they list it here. Widgets, they list all of your widgets so that you can delete them, and others are things like plugins. And that's basically it, how you can easily uninstall your applications the right way. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.